I didn't know all the opportunities that veterinarians have when they enter the field. I kind of had a very narrow focus as far as small animal practice, but now that I'm here, I realize that this isn't the only opportunity available for me, that there's a lot more I could do. And um, that's kind of exciting to me to know that after four years, my, my world is still open wide of opportunities. So about in the mid-1990s, um, the College of Veterinary Medicine here at Virginia Tech decided that they wanted to look at the way that they were teaching their veterinary students and um, they were trying to look to the future and think about innovative ways for training our veterinary students. And in 2000, they introduced their new curriculum, which included tracking. And, and by tracking, what I mean is it allows students to pick out areas of their interests, such as small animals, equine, food animals, mixed, or also a public corporate track, and to be able to spend more time concentrating on those areas. I've done small animal rotations that give me more advanced training in surgery, ophthalmology, neurology, um, all pertaining to small animal medicine, mainly dogs and cats. I've ridden horses my whole life, and um, I've always wanted to go to vet school, and uh, when I got in, and great getting in here, uh, I got to sort of explore that route more than somewhere else. It's been great. I actually applied to vet school um, with the intent of working at the nexus of medicine, public policy, and regulatory practice. So the public corporate track here was a natural fit. I really wanted to go into food animal medicine so I could interact with farmers. I really do like getting outside and, and knowing that I can actually, you know, with my profession, help people better their lives and better their farms. I found that my success here has really been the teamwork and the people that have helped me get through this. There's been a lot of success stories where you walk in and an animal has been treated elsewhere for years um, for a certain ailment and then within a few minutes you realize that, no, that's actually not what they have. And to be able to figure that out and to help them has been very rewarding working with all these different specialists that go on to do different things and seeing what's available in the realms of you know research and non-clinical diagnostic specialties and things like that you sort of come in thinking I'm just gonna go be an equine vet like the types that I've grown up knowing my whole life and then you realize there's surgeons there's radiologists there's all these specialties you can go on and just exploring those outlets and really seeing where you fit in to the whole veterinary world is is exciting and it it makes it more fun I think a lot of people forget that aspect of veterinary medicine, that we do have veterinarians out uh, in the food processing plants, inspecting food and, and making sure our country's food supply is safe. I've actually spent my time investigating and working with the stakeholders in the area that I actually want to practice in after I graduate. So I've spent time with the Food and Drug Administration, the United States Department of Agriculture, um, the Animal Welfare Division of the AVMA. Uh, I went to India and did a clinical clerkship for one month. So I think the great part about the public corporate track to me is that it allows you the flexibility to do really whatever you want in your fourth year. Fourth year is the time that you have to apply it and that for me has been a real challenge and it wasn't until recently that I realized that I've been successful at doing so. Every day, and this sounds very naive I know, but every day when you start school, even if it's looking like it's going to be a long day or a frustrating day with an exam, um, you have to remember that you were fortunate enough to get a seat and you're really lucky to be here working in the program. It's a really competitive process to get here. It's a competitive process to stay in, um, but it should be, I guess. Uh, it's tough to think that it shouldn't be competitive when the profession has so many responsibilities, not only with patient care and animal care of pets, but with food safety, global public health, research, defense, agroterrorism. Um, every day should be challenging, but it should also be enjoyable. And I've had a good time the last four years. There were tougher days than others, but all in all, it's been a good time.